Now at noon, when a decorated fire captain was gunned down on a rural county road in Texas, his wife, Chasey Pointer, turned up as the only witness to the shooting. On this week's 48 Hours, in her first television interview, Chasey talks about what happened on the night her husband was murdered. 48 Hours correspondent Peter Van Sand is live in New York with a preview. Peter, good to see you. And you were at the crime scene. What first made police suspicious about Chasey's story? Where the killing took place, it was on one of these farm to market roads in Texas, which are not meant for automobiles. They were big tractors go down and other tracked vehicles. And the fact that the family car had been taken down this, this damaged, destroyed road with these huge ruts and it was muddy just didn't make sense to them. And Peter, the dramatic moments captured by police body cameras showed a highly emotional Chasey Pointer. What role did those cameras actually play in this case? Cameras are incredible in this story. Body cameras, cameras inside the ambulance, uh, and they capture her doing this pant talking, this breathless talking that seemed to the authorities to be fake, a mm -hmm. performance of some sort. And also, she kept turning, without being asked, the conversation into criticism of her husband. That was another red flag for investigators. So what was her defense? Her defense is, hey, I didn't pull the trigger, and it took hours of interrogation before she pointed the finger at someone who she said was the real trigger man in this case, and authorities are convinced that she was part of a conspiracy to lure her husband out to this place to have him shot so she could profit from his life insurance and his, his personal wealth. And I get an opportunity to grill her face to face. It's a rare opportunity, mm -hmm. but it's one I savor, and I think that uh, 48 Hours fans will really enjoy. I'm sure. Peter, thank you. I'm looking forward to that as always. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. You can catch an on in 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10 right here on CBS 4.